Breaking. You won't believe who just came out to pay for Trump's whole border wall on Memorial Day. President Donald Trump has been on a winning streak ever since taking off for his first overseas trip as Commander-in-Chief. He returned home to business as usual for the leader of the most powerful nation in the world, who is also on a mission to block our borders from unwelcome refugees and illegals. He didn't miss a beat returning to his duties. The president was recently presented with an incredible surprise of who could be paying for one of his most important campaign promises and you won't believe who just came up as the most unlikely financier. The only thing that's been holding America's safety and security back is the ability to fund it, which could soon not be a problem any longer and fulfill a long overdue need much quicker than originally thought. The fight over who will foot the $12 to $15 billion to fund Trump's U.S. Mexico border wall is no longer an issue after one person could be forced to pony up the bill for it under the most ironic of circumstances. News is breaking right now from one of the most outspoken advocates of the border wall and outside of President Donald Trump who just dropped a bomb to solve the funding problem with one simple solution. The money for the wall is already in America's possession, we just need to get permission to use it now and the one who it belongs to has no say in the matter. You could call Senator Ted Cruz the best problem solver with devising the perfect solution to get moving on one of Trump's biggest and most important campaign promises. Breitbart reports, Senator Ted Cruz, RTX introduced a bill calling for the use of $14 billion seized from cartel drug lord Joaquin El Chapo Guzman to be used to pay for the president's border wall between the U.S. and Mexico. It makes perfect sense since one of the world's largest drug cartel leaders benefited by the billions in an open border. Now that he's in custody, it's only fair that the blood money in holding go to good use against Chapo's cause and Cruz is a genius for proposing this idea. $14 billion will go a long way toward building a wall that will keep Americans safe and hinder the illegal flow of drugs, weapons, and individuals across our southern border, Senator Cruz said, as was reported by Breitbart Texas who received a statement from the senator's office on the matter. Ensuring the safety and security of Texans is one of my top priorities. The entire objective of the border wall is to dramatically slow the flow of drugs and crime into America through avenues established by El Chapo. His forfeited drug money fortune will offset the wall's cost and make meaningful progress toward achieving President Trump's stated border security objectives, Cruz's statement continued. The bill, appropriately dubbed the Ensuring Lawful Collection of Hidden Assets to Provide Order, El Chapo, was introduced by Cruz on Tuesday and with any luck will get a lot of conservative support. Of course, liberals are greatly against the idea of a wall, preaching for breaking down walls of communication rather than building them. This utopian idea can't and won't work as El Chapo proves with his billions of dollars and thousands of lives lost to his enterprise. The U.S. government is currently seeking the criminal forfeiture of more than $14 billion in drug proceeds and illicit profits from El Chapo, the former leader of the Sinaloa drug cartel who was recently extradited to the U.S. to face criminal prosecution for numerous alleged drug-related crimes, including conspiracy to commit murder and money laundering, Cruz stated, Breitbart reports. Breitbart Texas Il Defonso Ortiz reports that as part of the agreement with Mexico, Guzman will not face the death penalty in the U.S. for his crimes. This makes the money usage even better since he has to live holed up in a jail cell for the rest of his life and know what all of his money is being siphoned into. Just because the kingpin is out, doesn't mean that his cartel network is, which is still in operation breaching our border. It couldn't be better than to make their boss pay for the wall that's needed because of him and shut the whole drug and crime funnel down for good. Please do not forget to subscribe and like and comment because we want to hear your voice and thank you for watching.